hello everyone welcome back to the next video in today's video i will show you how to do hand mark lead hand landmark hand landmark detection in flutter app so firstly i will show you guys the output so this is the output for ios so as you can see i have one button if i click on it it opens the image picker for me and from this i can pick an image now for this particular image i am not able to detect the hand landmark but if you see over here i am able to detect it for this also i was able to detect it and for uh, this also i was not able to detect it so i don't know why so yeah just be careful with this like i think uh, it works sometimes sometimes it doesn't work but i think it's pretty okay given that it does it on device there is no api call as such and this is for android like android one is little bit finicky uh, so if i click on pick image it opens the image picker uh, the land so here you can see it is able to detect it but it um, like it is offset by some uh, distance the landmark uh, <laughs> yeah like this issue is for react native as well uh, but i don't face this issue on native and so i am not sure what exactly i am doing wrong so yeah anyways uh, in case if you are able to figure it out for android like how to properly draw it do let me know in the comments it might help others out as well so firstly you will have to go to this documentation over here and uh, you will have to download this model hand landmarker uh, just uh, we will use this model both for android and ios so yeah next what you'll have to do just create a flutter project and inside my flutter project if i go to lib main dot dart here i have refactored my home page widget so i have created a method channel first to pick an image from photo speaker once the photo is picked i will send that image uri from uh, native side to flutter side so as you can see over here i have created but one button and i am invoking a method called pick image it gives you a result which is actually the image uri and i am setting the image url to this uh, particular variable and if the image url is not equal to empty i am displaying the size box and I have created this uh, custom uh, flutter widget uh, to display an image from an image URL. Uh, now if you see uh, this custom widget, so if I go to my image underscore view dot dot, here I have taken one identifier, you have to use the same identifier on native side as well. And uh, once we get the URL, I am setting it to this uh, maps variable like creation params. Uh, so that our native side can receive it and convert it to a bitmap and this is for uh, like uh, if you are constantly picking newer images the widget needs to be updated that's why i'm use this and i have assigned the key over here as well now this is boilerplate code whenever you are trying to create a native ui view uh, for flutter so yeah this remains constant uh, next you will have to open the android folder inside android studio now ignore this like this is a bug from android studio like this is completely fine code so first you will have to go to uh, gradle gradle scripts uh, go to settings.gradle sorry this settings.gradle project.settings and here you will have to update the kotlin version to 1.9.0 uh, once you do that uh, you will have to go to this uh, not this sorry this module apps build dot gradle file firstly you will have to set the min hdk version to 24 because uh, media pipe requires that dependency at least and here i have added this to dependency because i want to use register for activity result which will help us to pick image from the photos app uh, this is the media pipe dependency then i have added this coil dependency which will help us to load uh, bitmap inside an image view and i have also taken constraint layout which i will come back to in a bit then just click on sync now you might see a button at the top then you have to go to your app just right click new uh, folder assets folder and just click on finish and here you should be able to see the assets folder then you can just drag and drop the tf light model which we downloaded from over here drag and drop inside the assets folder uh, once you do that uh, you will have to create this overlay view.kt file now to be honest with you like i have completely copy pasted it from the android documentation so you can just click on android 
and you can go to this uh, main activity over here and just go to this hand landmarker and here you can see the overlay view.kt file just copy paste this file like basically this file it creates a native view programmatically which will help us to draw that hand landmarker on our uh, image so yeah i'll just simply scroll through this is it's basically a canvas So as you can see, uh, this is the overlay view uh, for our native uh, Android, which I have just copy pasted. Next, you will have to go to mainactivity.kt and here I have created uh, extended flutter fragment activity, which is required for register activity, uh, register for activity result. Here I have created our method channel and from register for activity result, it will open our uh, photos app. And once user selects a photo, you, we get a URI which I just send it back to the flutter side and next here I have registering our native image view so I'm using the same identifier which we have used it on the flutter side as well and here I have registered our method channel and I'm uh, create uh, calling this peak image platform and once the peak image is called I'm just launching our get content dot launch our photo pickers app so the mime type is image slash star which you can see over here Next, I have created a, a factory class. Again, this is boilerplate code, which you have to write whenever you want to create a native view. And as you can see over here, it references this my image view. And next, you will have to create this my image view, which takes all this thing. And here I have first initialized constraint layout. The reason I have initialized constraint layout is that as you can see, I'm initializing the overlay view, which we have created over here and the image view as well. Now, uh, we want the overlay view and image view on top of each other so that's why i'm using constraint layout you can use relative layout as well but i don't remember the code for relative layout that's why i'm not using it over here next we have to set the model asset path so whatever name you have over here use the same name over here uh, then we are creating our base options then we are using hand landmarker uh, and passing our options and i am setting the confidence level as well over here number of hands i have set it to two but if you want you can increase it and uh, we are detecting detecting it for image then we are uh, creating our options builder then uh, any creating variable for hand landmarker and uh, inside get view we are just returning our constraint layout here we are initializing our hand landmarker and then uh, we are just uh, setting layout params to our constraint layout then defining one constraint set then for image view we are generating the id setting the scale type and we are setting the width and height as well for our uh, image view and then we are uh, so all this is like basically constraining the image views top bottom start and end to the constraint layouts top bottom start and end similarly uh, we are doing the same thing for overlay view as well which as you can see over here so all this thing is for overlay view similar to that of image view then we are just applying all all this constraint set to our constraint layout then uh, whatever image view url which we get we are uh, passing this to our display method uh, then from that image url we are converting it to a bitmap uh, then we are converting it to a bitmap of specific type dot argb underscore four times eight uh, then we are scaling down our bitmap so if you see over here i have written one function for scaling down our bitmap as well and uh, once we get the bitmap i am converting it to an mp image once we get the mp image we are calling the uh, detect method of our hand landmarker and passing our mp image then we are just setting uh, passing our uh, result to our overlay view set results method as well as the height and width of the mp image and here on the main thread i'm just calling image view dot load bitmap uh, yeah so i think uh, yeah that's it for the android side uh, next for the ios side the you have to what you'll have to do is uh, so in new flutter versions this pod file is not created by default and currently uh, we require this pod file so what trick i did was i went to my pubspec.yml and i added this url launcher this dependency automatically creates a pod file for me again this dependency is not necessary for media pipe uh, it's just a hack which i found to create this pod file i don't know how else to create this pod file 
maybe pod in it might work but we require all this default code uh, so i'm not sure if just uh, doing pod in it might work or not but anyways i have just added our pod dependency over here so you will have to add this media pipe task vision uh, unfortunately this does not support swift package manager that's why i had to use coco pods next um, once you do this you will have to open your terminal cd to the ios directory and you will have to run pod space install which will install our dependency once that is done you will have to open the xc workspace inside xcode and here again you will have to drag and drop your tf light model which we have downloaded and make sure the target membership is checked uh, once uh, that is done uh, as you can see uh, over here i have again copy pasted this hand overlay uh, file uh, code from the documentation itself so if you want uh, you can go to the ios part and here you can click over here go to hand landmarker views hand overlay dot swift and you can copy paste all of this code all right uh, and also you will have to copy paste think where did it go was it in views no configurations i guess yeah you will also need to copy paste this file default constants dot swift so as i will show you that as well so here again you can just copy paste this code it's basically to draw those hand landmark uh, on our image uh, that's why i have just copy pasted all this code okay next is default constant so create this swift file as well once this is done you will have to create this my image view native view factory swift file as well again this is boilerplate code which you have to write for creating a native view and it references this my image view native view create this swift file i will come back to this in a bit but first you will have to go to uh, info.plist and make sure you add this photo library usage description permission also you will have to update the minimum ios deployment target to at least 14 over here and over here as well next you will have to go to app delegate and import photos as well as photos ui and here i have created our flutter result as well as flutter view controller and then we are registering our native view so i am passing the same identifier which we have used it on the flutter side uh, next we are initializing our flutter controller and here i have initialized our method channel as well and as you can see i am calling the pick image method so once that is called we are first checking for photo library usage permission if not uh, if it is for the very first time then we are requesting for the permission if it is already granted then we just call this self dot pick photo once self dot pick photo is called we just launch the ph uh, picker configuration so it will display the photos uh, library to the user once the user selects an image we dismiss the photo picker and sends the uh, send the asset identifier back to the uh, flutter side now once you pass that url uh, to this native view first we are creating our view also add this imports and here we are creating our ui image view as well as overlay view and here we are creating hand landmarker options as well as hand landmarker we are initialized our view and here i have initialized our image view as well as overlay view then did some ns layout constraints for uh, you know overlay view as well as image view then you will have to use the same name what you have defined it on over here for your tf light model and then we just generate a path for it and pass the or pass it to the options and the minimum confidence i have set it to 0.5 number of hands i have set it to 2 to be detected and we just initialize our hand landmarker once we get the image url we call the create native view method uh, which pass the image url to this method called get photo in library so which will help us to uh, generate a ui image out of that particular url and once the uh, image is generated ui image is generated we convert it to an mp image and then we pass the mp image to the detect method of our hand landmarker and 
on the main thread we assign uh, the ui image to our image view and we pass the result uh, to this result dot landmarks to our overlay views and then we just call overlay view dot draw and pass uh, all this stuff like the image size as well as the aspect fit all this stuff uh, so yeah i think uh, that's it for ios side as well thank you for watching bye